Welcome to an extraordinary journey into the life of Padre Pio, a man whose deep connection with God led to some of the most astonishing miracles the world has ever seen. Imagine witnessing a modern-day saint who bore the wounds of Christ, healed the sick through prayer, appeared in two places at once, and fought against the forces of evil with unshakable faith. In this video, we'll uncover the miraculous gifts Padre Pio received from God, showing you how his life of sacrifice, prayer, and love can inspire and transform yours. Ready to be amazed? Let's dive in. The Stigmata of Padre Pio, a divine sign of suffering. Padre Pio's life was nothing short of miraculous, but one of the most awe-inspiring aspects of his spiritual journey was the stigmata, mysterious wounds that mirrored those of Christ during his crucifixion. For over 50 years, these wounds remained on Padre Pio's body, a visible testament to his profound union with the suffering of Jesus. To many, it seemed like an unbelievable sign from heaven. But what exactly was the purpose behind such a painful gift? The stigmata first appeared on Padre Pio in 1918. As he prayed in front of a crucifix, he suddenly felt sharp pains in his hands, feet, and side. These were the same places where Jesus had been pierced during his crucifixion, as described in the Gospel of John, John 20 verse 27. Padre Pio later recounted how he felt overwhelmed by both love and sorrow, understanding that his wounds were meant to unite him deeply with Christ's passion. The physical pain was real, just as intense as it would have been for someone nailed to a cross. Yet Padre Pio accepted this suffering without complaint. Why? Because he believed that his pain was a way of sharing in Jesus' redemptive sacrifice for the salvation of souls. Just as Jesus suffered to save humanity, Padre Pio felt called to endure these wounds to help bring others closer to God. This deep sense of purpose transformed his pain into a profound act of love. But the stigma wasn't just a symbol of suffering, it was also a miraculous sign of God's grace. Numerous witnesses testified that Padre Pio's wounds would bleed daily, yet never became infected, nor did they show any signs of healing or decay. Medical experts were baffled, unable to explain how such open wounds could persist for decades without causing severe health complications. In an age where people often question the existence of miracles, Padre Pio's stigma stood as an irrefutable mystery of faith. The stigma had a tremendous impact on the people around Padre Pio. Thousands flocked to his small monastery in San Giovanni Rotondo, hoping to catch a glimpse of this modern-day miracle. People from all walks of life, skeptics and believers alike, found themselves moved by the sight of his wounds, which seemed to echo the pain and love that Jesus himself experienced on the cross. This visible suffering brought many back to their faith, reminding them of Christ's ultimate sacrifice. Interestingly, despite his deep faith, Padre Pio often prayed for the stigma to disappear. He never sought attention for these divine marks and was deeply humble about the extraordinary gift. His desire wasn't to be praised for his suffering, but rather to draw people's attention to the love of Christ. This humility speaks volumes about the kind of man Padre Pio was. He lived not for his own glory, but for the glory of God. Padre Pio's life of suffering through the stigma also reflected a key biblical theme. The call to take up one's own cross and follow Christ, Matthew 16, verse 24. For Padre Pio, the stigma was his cross. And through this cross, he demonstrated to the world that suffering, when offered to God, can have a redemptive purpose. It was a message of hope, showing that no pain is wasted when united with Christ's own sacrifice. The stigma was a visible sign, but its true power lay in its ability to draw souls toward repentance and conversion. Many who witnessed Padre Pio's wounds were moved to confess their sins, realizing the depth of Christ's love for them. His stigma became a doorway through which people could experience the healing and mercy of God. Padre Pio's suffering, like Jesus on the cross, became a source of life for others. Even in the midst of his physical suffering, Padre Pio radiated a deep, inner peace. 
This peace came from his complete trust in God's plan for his life. He knew that his suffering had a purpose beyond what the eye could see. It was a reminder to all of us that, in our own lives, God can transform our pain into something beautiful when we unite it with his divine will. The biblical connection to Padre Pio's stigmata is clear. Just as the Apostle Paul wrote, I bear on my body the marks of Jesus, Galatians 6 verse 17. Padre Pio bore the physical wounds of Christ. But more importantly, he carried within him the spiritual wounds of compassion, love, and sacrifice. His stigmata wasn't just about physical pain. It was about a life fully surrendered to God's will. Moreover, the stigmata served as a bridge between heaven and earth, reminding us of the closeness of the divine. Just as Jesus' wounds brought about the salvation of the world, Padre Pio's wounds brought countless souls back to the faith. It was a living testimony that God's miracles did not cease with the apostles. They continue in every generation for those who believe. Padre Pio's stigmata also teaches us an important lesson about humility and obedience. Despite the immense attention his wounds garnered, he remained a humble servant, always pointing people to Christ rather than himself. He never glorified his own suffering, but always directed people's gaze toward the suffering Savior. His humility is a reminder that all the glory belongs to God alone. As we reflect on Padre Pio's life and his stigmata, we are invited to consider our own lives. What are the crosses we're being asked to carry? How can we, like Padre Pio, unite our suffering with Christ to bring about spiritual transformation? His life reminds us that, no matter how great our struggles, God is with us, transforming even our deepest pain into a source of grace. Are you finding this story of Padre Pio's miracles inspiring? Don't miss out on more insights like these. Hit the subscribe button and share this video with friends who need to hear about the power of faith. Padre Pio's Gift of Healing – Miraculous Cures Through Prayer Padre Pio's reputation as a healer spread far and wide, drawing thousands to seek his intercession in times of illness and distress. Known for his deep connection to God, Padre Pio possessed a gift that many believed to be divinely bestowed, the ability to heal through prayer. Throughout his life, countless miraculous cures were attributed to him, making his monastery a beacon of hope for the sick and suffering. But how did these miraculous healings occur? And what was the source of this extraordinary power? Padre Pio's healing gift wasn't about spectacle. It was rooted in his profound humility and deep faith in God's will. He always made it clear that the true healer was Christ, not himself. His role was merely that of an intercessor, someone who prayed earnestly on behalf of those who sought his help. The Bible speaks of the power of prayer, saying, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective, James 5 verse 16. Padre Pio embodied this truth, offering prayers that seemed to touch heaven itself. One of the most remarkable aspects of Padre Pio's healings was the wide range of ailments that were miraculously cured. People suffering from terminal illnesses, disabilities, and chronic pain would travel from all corners of the world, hoping for a miracle. Many left his presence healed, with doctors often baffled by the sudden disappearance of symptoms or the complete recovery of patients who had been given no hope. These healings, like those performed by Jesus in the Gospels, were acts of divine mercy. The stories of miraculous cures are numerous, but perhaps one of the most famous was the healing of Gemma D. Georgie, a young girl born without pupils in her eyes. Despite her condition, after a blessing from Padre Pio, she miraculously regained her sight. This healing, which defied all medical explanation, was just one of many testimonies that left people in awe of the power of prayer when placed in the hands of a man so deeply connected to God. But it wasn't just physical healings that Padre Pio facilitated. Many of those who came to him experienced spiritual healings that were equally transformative. People struggling with depression, anxiety, or spiritual despair found comfort in his presence. Padre Pio would often tell them to pray, hope, and don't worry a phrase that has since become one of his most famous sayings. 
His gentle words and deep trust in God's providence restored not just physical health, but also peace to troubled souls. Padre Pio's healings also demonstrated the biblical principle of faith. Just as Jesus said to those he healed, your faith has made you well, Matthew 9 verse 22. Many who came to Padre Pio with deep faith found themselves healed in ways they never imagined. It wasn't Padre Pio's power alone, but the combination of faith and prayer that brought about these extraordinary cures. His healings became living testimonies to the importance of trusting in God's plan. What made Padre Pio's gift even more extraordinary was that many of these healings occurred from a distance. People who couldn't travel to his monastery would send letters asking for his prayers. And miraculously, many of them reported being healed even though they had never met him in person. It was as if Padre Pio's prayers transcended time and space, reaching those in need wherever they were. Even in modern times, the church acknowledges the miraculous nature of Padre Pio's healings. In fact, two of these miracles were officially recognized during his canonization process. One such miracle involved a woman who was cured of a fatal lung disease after praying to Padre Pio. Her recovery was so sudden and complete that doctors could find no explanation other than divine intervention. Padre Pio's healings are a reminder that God's power is not limited by human understanding. His ability to intercede on behalf of the sick shows us that, even in our darkest moments, God is always present, ready to heal and restore. As Jesus healed the sick in his ministry, Padre Pio's life reflected the continuation of this healing power through faith. For those who received these miraculous cures, their lives were forever changed. Many went on to become witnesses of God's grace, sharing their stories with the world. These testimonies serve as powerful reminders of the importance of prayer, faith, and the belief that miracles still happen. In the end, Padre Pio's gift of healing wasn't just about curing the body, it was about restoring hope. His healings pointed people toward the ultimate source of all healing, God himself. And in doing so, Padre Pio helped countless souls find peace, faith, and the courage to keep trusting in God's love, no matter the circumstances. If you're inspired by Padre Pio's miraculous healings, don't forget to share this video with friends who need to hear about the power of faith. Also, make sure to subscribe for more stories of hope and divine miracles. Below Cat Iron, Padre Pio's presence in two places at once. Among the many extraordinary phenomena surrounding Padre Pio's life, the mysterious occurrence of Bilo Cadian stands as one of the most mind-boggling. Imagine being in two places at once, something that seems impossible by human standards, yet countless witnesses reported that Padre Pio had this supernatural ability. Bilo Cadian is the term used to describe the miraculous event where Padre Pio appeared in two distinct places simultaneously, a gift that left both skeptics and believers in awe. But how did this phenomenon manifest? And what was its purpose? The phenomenon of Bilo Cadian first surfaced early in Padre Pio's ministry, with stories from people across different parts of the world claiming they had seen him, even though he was known to be confined to his monastery in San Giovanni Rotondo. His Bilo Cadians were not just apparitions, they were fully conscious, physical presences, where he would interact with people, give counsel, or perform miracles. This ability, while astonishing, wasn't sought by Padre Pio, it was a grace granted to him by God, with a profound spiritual purpose. One of the most famous instances of Bilo Cadian occurred during World War II. Padre Pio was reportedly seen by Italian and American pilots who claimed that a monk appeared in mid-air, preventing them from bombing the town of San Giovanni Rotondo. The planes were unable to release their bombs, and they saw Padre Pio in the sky, motioning for them to turn away. When these pilots later visited the monastery, they identified Padre Pio as the monk they had seen, despite him never leaving the monastery during that time. This story echoes the biblical theme of divine protection. Just as angels intervened to shield people in the Bible, as seen in Daniel 6 verse 22, when Daniel was saved from the lions, 
Padre Pio's Bilo Cat Ion served as a heavenly sign that God's hand was at work. The pilots' lives were spared, and the town remained unharmed, a testimony to the miraculous ways God can work through his chosen servants. Another fascinating account involves Padre Pio's Bilo Cat Ion to America, where he appeared at the bedside of a dying mun, comforting him and guiding him in his final moments. Although Padre Pio never physically left Italy, the man's family vividly described his presence in the room. This act of spiritual mercy shows that Padre Pio's Bilo Cat Ion wasn't about performing spectacular miracles. It was about serving God's people, even when separated by oceans and continents. His heart was always where the need was greatest. But what made Padre Pio's Bilo Cat Ion so remarkable was not just the physicality of it, it was the profound spiritual depth it represented. His ability to be present in two places at once symbolized a deeper truth, that God's love and grace know no boundaries. As Jesus said in Matthew 28 verse 20, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Padre Pio's below cations were a living demonstration of this divine promise. Through the grace of God, he was able to transcend the limitations of time and space, reaching out to those who needed him the most. Witnesses of Padre Pio's Bilo Cation were often left speechless, struggling to comprehend what they had seen. Many were converted to faith or had their belief in God strengthened after experiencing his miraculous presence. It wasn't just the act of being in two places that moved them. It was the sense of peace, compassion, and holiness that Padre Pio radiated wherever he appeared. What's even more astounding is that Padre Pio was often unaware of these bilocations when they occurred. He would later learn from others that he had appeared to them in their time of need, and he would humbly accept that it was God's will working through him. This humility in the face of such an extraordinary gift is what set Padre Pio apart as a true servant of God. He never took credit for these miracles, always pointing back to the divine power of Christ working through him. The accounts of Padre Pio's Bilo Cation also remind us of the boundlessness of God's love. Just as Padre Pio could be present to someone across the world through divine intervention, so too can God's grace reach us no matter where we are. This gift of Bilo Cation was a reminder to the faithful that, through prayer and faith, we are never truly alone. God is always present, whether we see it or not. Padre Pio's Bilo Cat Ion challenges the limits of our understanding of the physical world. It serves as a powerful symbol of the spiritual reality that exists beyond what we can see or touch. The fact that he could be in two places at once reminds us that the supernatural is as real as the natural, and that God's ways are infinitely higher than our own. Ultimately, the mystery of Padre Pio's Bilo Cat Ion deepens our appreciation for the miracles God works through his saints. It calls us to trust in God's infinite power and mercy, and to believe that miracles, however unimaginable, are still very much a part of our world today. Padre Pio's life serves as a testament to the fact that when we surrender ourselves to God's will, extraordinary things can happen, not for our glory, but for the glory of God. If you're as amazed by Padre Pio's Bilo Cations as we are, be sure to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more miraculous stories from the lives of the saints. Spiritual Battles and Exorcisms Padre Pio's Fight Against Evil Padre Pio's life was not only marked by miracles and healings, but also by intense spiritual battles. He was known to have fought directly against evil forces, including performing exorcisms and enduring physical attacks from demons. These battles were not just metaphorical, they were real, and Padre Pio faced them with the full armor of faith. Just as Christ confronted and defeated Satan in the wilderness, Matthew 4 verses 1 to 11, Padre Pio was constantly engaged in spiritual warfare, defending souls from the grip of evil. One of the most astonishing aspects of Padre Pio's spiritual battles was the frequency with which he experienced physical assaults by demonic forces. He would often recount how the devil appeared to him in various forms, sometimes as a black dog, other times as terrifying shadows, 
and even as false apparitions of Christ or Mary. These attacks were so fierce that Padre Pio would be left physically bruised and battered, yet he never wavered in his trust in God's protection. The Bible speaks of the reality of these battles in Ephesians 6 verse 12, which states, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Padre Pio lived this truth daily, standing as a spiritual warrior who refused to be overcome by the forces of darkness. His unwavering faith became his shield, and prayer was his most powerful weapon. One of the most well-known stories of Padre Pio's exorcisms involved a young woman who was possessed by multiple demons. When brought before Padre Pio, the woman began convulsing violently, screaming profanities and attempting to harm herself. With calm authority, Padre Pio commanded the demons to leave her in the name of Christ. After a lengthy struggle, the woman was freed and her life transformed. This exorcism was just one example of Padre Pio's extraordinary power to drive out evil, a gift granted to him by God to save souls from spiritual bondage. Padre Pio's ability to discern the presence of evil spirits was also remarkable. He had a supernatural gift of reading souls, which allowed him to see the sins or spiritual afflictions that troubled those who came to him for confession. This ability often helped him identify cases of possession or demonic oppression. Through his prayers and guidance, countless individuals were freed from the burdens of sin and spiritual attacks. Even though Padre Pio was engaged in these fierce battles, he never displayed fear. His courage came from his total reliance on God. He understood, as it says in James 4 verse 7, Submit yourselves, then, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Padre Pio's strength lay in his submission to God's will, and this surrender gave him the power to confront and defeat evil time and time again. Despite the severity of these spiritual conflicts, Padre Pio maintained a serene and compassionate demeanor. He always reminded those around him that the devil is powerless in the face of God's love and mercy. His battles with the forces of darkness were not about glorifying the fight but about showing the victory that faith in Christ can bring to every soul. He was a living example of the power of prayer and the importance of staying vigilant in the face of temptation and evil. What's most striking about Padre Pio's spiritual battles is how relevant they are to us today. While we may not face demonic attacks as he did, we all encounter spiritual challenges in our lives. Padre Pio's life reminds us that these struggles are not to be feared but to be faced with faith, knowing that God is with us in every trial. His exorcisms and spiritual warfare show us that, no matter how dark the battle may seem, God's light will always prevail. Padre Pio's legacy of fighting against evil also speaks to the power of intercession. Many who were oppressed by spiritual forces came to him for help, and through his prayers, they found relief. His life demonstrates that the saints, even after death, continue to fight for us in heaven. Padre Pio himself once said, After my death, I will do more. My real mission will begin after my death. His ongoing intercession has been a source of strength and deliverance for many people around the world. Ultimately, Padre Pio's spiritual battles remind us that we, too, are called to fight the good fight of faith. Whether it's through prayer, resisting temptation, or supporting others in their spiritual struggles, we are all participants in this cosmic battle between good and evil. Padre Pio's example teaches us that victory is found not in our strength but in God's grace. As we journey through the miraculous life of Padre Pio, it's impossible not to feel a deep sense of awe at the incredible ways God worked through him. From his stigmata to his powerful healings, his mysterious below cations, and his battles with evil, Padre Pio's life reminds us that miracles are not relics of the past. They are real, and they are happening today. His unwavering faith, humility, and love for humanity serve as a guiding light for all of us seeking a deeper connection with God. If Padre Pio's story has moved you, imagine the impact it could have on someone else. 
share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more inspiring stories that will uplift your spirit and strengthen your faith. Together, let's spread the message of hope and the power of divine miracles.